Hello, I wanted to do a review for a few products today. I'm reviewing backpacking chairs. If you don't have a chair for backpacking, I strongly recommend you get one because after walking through the woods all day, you're tired, you're, you just want to sit down, and if you don't have a nice comfortable place to do it, you're missing out. So I wanted to share with you my favorite my favorite backpacking chair and why, and I'll compare it to a couple of options. So the, the chairs that I want to show you today are the Crazy Creek chairs, and I'm going to compare them to the Helinox chair. This is the Camp Chair 1. Now first I want to compare the weights of these chairs because you know in backpacking every pound matters, every ounce matters, okay? So the Helinox chair, I'll start with that, I'll put up my little scale there, and this is going to be in ounces. Oh, my scale turned off. All right. So I've got it teared, and I'll bring this up close so you can see it. The Helinox chair is 33.1 ounces, it says. Okay. The Crazy Creek chair, and I'm going to go with the regular model first. Here's the Crazy Creek. set my scale here. The Crazy Creek chair is significantly lighter than the Helinox. So I'll bring this up so you can see. It's almost a full pound lighter. It says here 20.3 ounces for the Crazy Creek. This is the Hex 2.0. Okay, so almost a full pound lighter than the Helinox Camp Chair 1. And then I've got the Crazy Creek long back version of the chair. I'll reset my scale here. And this is, as you can see, 24.6 ounces. Okay, so even the long back version of the Crazy Creek chair is still a full seven or eight ounces lighter than the Helinox chair. Okay, so that's the first comparison I wanted to do. Second is a size comparison. Now with the Helinox chair, you pretty much have to keep it in its case. If you were to take it out of its case, you might be able to save a little bit in size, but not much. So as you can see, it's about a foot long, okay? And it's about four inches in any one dimension. So four inches this way, four inches this way. So it's gonna take up a fair amount of room in your backpack. Now, if you get the Crazy Creek regular chair just by itself, you can see that the Crazy Creek is just a little bit longer than the Helinox chair. And it's about the same when you're talking how wide it is in your backpack. But the Crazy Creek has an advantage. The, the Helinox you can't take out, but when I go backpacking, I unfold my Crazy Creek chair. It's folded in half when it comes, so I just take it and I unfold it like this. And then I just slide this right down into my pack. And it's a lot easier to find space in your backpack for something like this, just slide it down the front of it, than it is something like this, okay? Now the Helox chair is comfortable, don't get me wrong, but I think that the Crazy Creek has some big advantages over it, which I wanna talk about. So the Crazy Creek Hex 2.0, this is the regular back chair. You unfold it, it comes like this, and then you just take the sides and you fold them out like this. Now I am a true believer in this chair. I started out with the Helinox when I was backpacking and I liked it. However, once I started using the Crazy Creek, I found that for me, this chair is a lot more versatile. It's lighter, it's easier to pack, and it's more comfortable. Um, so when you sit down in these chairs, one of my favorite things is that you can stretch your legs out. So I can sit here and I can stretch my legs straight out, which is very nice on a long backpacking trip to be able to extend your legs and just let them hang out there and be comfortable is fantastic. Now this chair is very comfortable. I keep two in the trunk of my car at all times because they're so comfortable and I use them for soccer games, for my kids' soccer games. I'll use them when we go to baseball games if we're sitting on the grass field. I'll use them just about anywhere, even on bleachers. They're fantastic on bleachers. You can't do all that stuff with the Helinox chair though. So let me show you how to set up the Helinox chair. You pull it out of its bag. And when it comes, you'll get the chair portion of it in the bag and then the poles. And now the poles are all shot corded together. Okay, and they're aluminum. So you set up all the poles, you extend them all out. 
put them all in where they're supposed to go. And once this chair is set up, once you got the frame set up, you set it on the ground like this. And then you take the chair portion and you're gonna put the, the heel and ox logo up at the top. And then you stretch this, this uh, chair part onto the frame. Now you can already see that it's a lot faster and easier to set up the Crazy Creek chair than the heel and ox, which makes it a better option. If you wanted to take a rest, like a lunch break in the middle of your backpacking trip, it'd be much easier to get out the heel and ox and set it up than it would be the or the Crazy Creek, excuse me, than it would be the Helinox. Now once you got the Helinox set up, you can sit in it and it's a nice comfortable chair. However, one reason why I don't like it as much is I can't stretch my feet out. I can't put my feet up the same way in this chair as I can the Crazy Creek. So to me, the Crazy Creek has a comfort advantage for that one reason. Also, the Crazy Creek is much more versatile because well, well, I'll give you an example. Last time we went, we went to Kings Peak, uh, me and my brother, and we set up camp and we wanted to play games. Well, it started to rain. So we went and we got into our tent. It was a four man tent um, and started to play games. And the great thing about Crazy Creek chairs is I take this in the tent with me and I can play games in it. You can't do that with the Helinox chair because it's got these legs here and these will poke right through your your tent floor and into the dirt and this is going to wear holes in the bottom of your tent so for that reason alone this is my backpacking favorite chair and that it's because you can take this into the tent you can take this anywhere with you and you can still use it it's fantastic for that reason we were playing games and after a while sitting up your back's starting to get all all achy because you're sitting up funny and uh, I noticed that my brother was kind of moving around a little bit. So I said, here, try out my chair. And he sat in it and he said, oh my goodness, I've got to get me a Crazy Creek chair because these just are so versatile and so comfortable even when you're in the tent. And you can't do that with the Helinox. You, well, you could, but you, you'd be wearing holes in the bottom of your tent if you did that. Okay, so there's some advantages. Now, as far as durability, I don't think there's going to be a huge difference in the durability of the Helinox versus the Crazy Creek chair. I do think that the Crazy Creek chair's material seems to be a little bit tougher than the Helinox chair. And I don't, like I said, I sit on the ground with these. I don't anticipate these ever wearing out. I don't anticipate ever needing to replace these because of wear. They are absolutely awesome. They're built very sturdy. They got heavy duty straps. The poles that are in these Crazy Creek chairs are made out of carbon fiber. They're virtually unbreakable, so you'll never have to mess with those. With the Helinox, the one place that I can see you having issues is if a shock cord breaks on one of these poles, because they're held together with shock cords. If that happens, that could be a real pain, especially if you drop a pole somewhere when you're, when you're in your camp and you forget about it, then you lose the pole. So I think that would be the one place that I would have durability issues with the Helinox. Now, now that I've showed you the, the Crazy Creek chair, I wanted to show you another option that you can get for the Crazy Creek. This is the Crazy Creek Hex 2.0 long back version. Now, one thing that I've noticed, and don't get me wrong, having this chair on a camping trip is absolutely awesome. You'll never regret buying this chair. It's, it is the best chair that you can buy, I think, for backpacking. But if you sit in this chair for an extended period of time, you'll notice, or at least I have, that the top of the carbon fiber poles will start to kind of poke into your back, right about your shoulder blades. And it's not super uncomfortable, but it's enough that I notice it. And, and I would never go away from the Crazy Creek just based on that. And so I decided that I wanted to try this long back version of the chair, okay? Now the long back version is a little bit taller if I fold the Crazy Creek up, you can see just how much taller it is. So here's the Crazy Creek folded up, and there's the, the regular versus the long back chair. So it's about four or five inches taller, but the same in every other dimension, okay? And just a couple ounces heavier. Now the long back version is not only taller, but it's wider as well. And I'll show you that here. So if I take my regular Hex 2.0 chair, I can put it inside the long back version and have room to spare. 
and I'll bring this up close so you can see it exactly how much wider it is. It's about two inches wider for the long back chair. And you can see on the back here, it's about four or five inches taller on the back portion of the chair. Now this chair is superior in comfort, okay? This chair, the back, you can see extends way up beyond my shoulder blades. And because it's wider and taller, I don't think that you'd ever run into that issue. I've sat in this chair for a while since I've had it and I haven't had any issues with the carbon fiber poles poking my shoulder blades. It's not a huge deal with the Crazy Creek Hex 2.0, but with this, you just get the best of everything. So this Crazy Creek long back chair is gonna be my go-to chair for all sporting events, for camping, for backpacking. The only disadvantage is that it's a little bit taller. So if your backpack isn't that tall, you might have issues packing up. I don't, I don't anticipate that being a problem. So, um, to sum up, the best chair for backpacking, I'd say without a doubt, hands down, it's the Crazy Creek. Because it's more versatile, like I mentioned, you could take this in your tent and sit on it and it's not gonna hurt anything. It's super durable, gonna last forever, high quality materials, it's more comfortable, you can stretch your legs out, and if you wanna get the high back version, it's even better, okay? So this would be like the Cadillac of backpacking chairs, this would be like the, the Bentley of backpacking chairs, okay? And, and they're easier to pack. I think I forgot to mention that. These chairs are easier to pack than the Helinox camp chair one would be. So thanks for watching. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave feedback on the video. Both of these chairs, excellent options. I highly recommend them.